Hello everyone, this is Omega and I'm back to give you another unboxing. This one is for the Witch's Moon for May 2021. I want to wish all the Taurians, is that how you say it? Taurians or Tauruses and Gemini's happy birthday for May. I realize I'm getting this out to you pretty late. I am in sunny California right now, although it's dark outside and had to extend my stay because of a chiropractic issue for a chronic condition. But the other boxes are waiting for me at home. So when I get there, I'll do the unboxings uh, for them as well. So let's get cracking on this one. How are you all? Hopefully you're staying warm if you're in um, North America or Europe. And imagine what it's like right now. If we're in spring, I guess down under you're probably in fall, approaching winter. All right, here we go. This is the only place. I'm actually staying with my kids right now. And I had to pick this location because honestly, this is the only area of the place that doesn't look like a frat house. Sorry kids, but you're really messy. I've been doing a lot of cleaning since I've been here. <laughs> okay, here we go. The Witch's Moon. Brown paper. What's on I only smell incense. Maybe it's because my, my allergies are acting up. Okay. And this is the written part of it and this is my oracle card and it says sacred fool <laughs> sacred fool well the fool symbolizes i guess jumping into stuff that you're not too sure about maybe i don't know but sacred i haven't heard of that one yet that interesting okay let's see what the topic is the alchemist i love alchemy Okay, I'm going to read a short synopsis of this. Found within the vast magical practices and ideas, there is but a common goal to turn energy and intentions into manifested reality and in turn continue our journey towards perfection and purity. This is from the old um, kind of turning lead into gold, that constant quest. Um, alchemy takes many forms. It can be basically just taking lemons and making lemonade so to speak, out of, you know, things that aren't ideal in your life. But um, it's basically taking one substance and it can be an idea, it can be a situation, it can be, you know, a thing and um, manifesting or turning it into something that you want. So through elixirs, concoctions, herbal blends and intense formulated intentions, we find that transformation is truly possible. The beauty that is found within this craft is often hidden within the connections that are created between the elements, spirits, and personal will. It is the artists, the writers. We are the witches. We are the magicians. In this very exclusive... Oh, this is, I have a low battery. I better hurry. <laughs> In this exclusive collection... We provide unique and useful tools to assist you in turning your intentions into true manifestation. Okay. So, honeymoon. Oh, on so the 26th, we're going to have a full moon and it's going to be a lunar e eclipse. These are two of them I'm stuck together. Okay. So, honeymoon, June Espet, and full moon. The butterfly. I like butterflies. I was told that butterflies signify angels to me, kind of like a spirit guide, which makes me very happy because I like butterflies. And this looks like a periodic table. Yep, table of alchemical symbols. Not exactly the one we learn in chemistry, but you guys get the idea, right? And ooh, a sigil. And I've learned in the Witch's Moon that the dot, the dots are to help your orientation and it's at the top here. Okay. So this 
So we have Litha that's coming up. And this is the bath salt. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like jasmine to me. And wild cherry bark. Dead sea salt. Nice. I've heard if you go to the Dead Sea that you could float or almost float. I think that would be really neat. Okay, and this looks like the candle, the beeswax candle. I was gonna go to the beach today and shoot some footage, but I ran out of time. I did have to visit my parents. I had to go to the cemetery today, so that, I'm sure you guys understand, takes precedence. And here's this high quality, beautiful beeswax candle. Honeymoon incense sticks. Honeymoon. Any of you getting married? June's a good time for getting, for weddings, I hear. Oh, is it a dropper? In case you guys are wondering, Freddy's at home. He's with my neighbors, taking very good care of him. Ooh, is this a stopper? I think we're gonna have some kind of really neat bottle to put stuff in. Glass. I think this may be the other part of it. Or is this the oil? Oil. Magical anointing oil. Let's see what this smells like. Mm, can't put my foot on it. It's kind of spicy. All right, what's next? Oh, marshmallow root. And maybe this is the other part of it. I can't believe I'm not being interrupted. I kind of miss Freddy. Is this a, is this a crystal? They package these very well. this little part is maybe that's just natural and it just it looks like it may be glued on I don't know if it's part of this fragment okay we have a final thing in here it's this beautiful gold box this must be the bottle very nice so here's the bottle, and it has a pentagram on it. Isn't that neat? Reminds me of chemistry class. I don't know if you can see the pentagram. Put something else in front of it. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I don't know. Okay, let's read about this stuff. I am curious. Okay. So exclusive hand-blown alchemical vessel. That's this. With sample rod. Wonderful and vast subject. Alchemy is almost impossible to cover completely in such limited space. Found to be relevant and practical as early as the first few centuries. Alchemy has been found within texts and writings from ancient Egypt, China, Africa, as well as most parts of Europe. Shrouded in hidden work is commonly disregarded as too advanced and complicated due to the overwhelming amount of 
imagery and symbolism that is still being studied, interpreted to this day. It was a common practice for alchemists to hide their works within strange drawings, painting symbols, and ethereal texts. The purpose of this was to create a way to hide their secrets from the wandering eyes of competitors and critics, and also to the masses as well, because sometimes in people, you know, for people who are not experienced in things like this, it can be dangerous. You know how they say a little bit of knowledge can be a dangerous thing? Kind of applies to this as well. Let's see. You may know the common description of alchemy as the heart as the art of turning lead or base metal into gold. That's what I was talking about earlier. Or the purest form. Many state and territory leaders employed alchemists to continue to work towards making this a true scientific achievement as it would eventually as it would essentially bring power and immortality to the hierarchy. Although there are stories of certain philosophers achieving the great wonder, there are even more philosophers that have been created a complex web of metaphorical and spiritual equations created to exemplify the process of taking what has been given to us and transforming it into something that is better or even perfect. And let's talk about that too. This includes not only the direct process of adding Ingredients are mixing together, but the act of taking away or working out those elements that make the material imperfect. And it goes on. It's pretty long. We also recommend making this your very personal practice, not relying too drastically on outside recipes or instructions. Included with this vessel is a sample rod that sits gently within the opening. This rod is simply a tool for you to extract a small amount of the contents to place upon your skin, inhale the fragrance or anoint items with. You mix the contents, simply hold the top, ensure the sam sample rod is inserted and gently swirl in a clockwise motion. In addition, we have included an engraving on the, on the pentacle on the neck of this vessel to represent spirit as well as our deep and intimate connect with the elements protecting and guiding us. So are these ingredients, do we put this inside with the oil? Is that what we do? I don't want this to crack. Okay. Okay, the oil has ginger, orange, frank frankincense, and myrrh. That's why it smells spicy. And rosemary, ground sage, herbs, and myrrh resin. Uh, do you put this in it? Okay, I'll go to the quartz crystal. As one of the most programmable crystals Quartz carries within it the ability to hold your intentions and transfer them seamlessly, seamlessly through space. Quartz crystal is a multidimensional stone, allowing you to amplify energies as well keep a recorded memory of intentions and will. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, you guys know about this stuff. And marshmallow root. Attractive and protective herb can be found within a variety of shield and luck oils, incense and floor washes. It is said to be the most helpful guides and spirits are called upon by marshmallow root. Hmm. Litha cel celebratory salt, sacred salt. And the cool, refreshing element of water. Let's see what's in it orange, rose, bergamot oils, as well as hyssop, lavender, and St. John's wort and hawthorn herb. And a mixture of our midsummer magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Okay, and the honeymoon ritual incense sticks. During the June S spot, take time to connect with your herbal companions. It's time where the potency of these elements will be at their peak. This lovely fragrant incense was placed within the collection for you to create a calming and focused energy while working with all natural tools that are available to you. And Honeymoon Book of Shadows artwork. 
wonderful reference guide is truly, in truly inspired, provides information to support you during this time. Oh, sorry. And where is the other the one? Book of Shadows, Incense Stick. Maybe it's on the other page. The alchemical table. Yes. Table of Alchemical Symbols book and shadows artwork. Referencing to the Table of Alchemical Symbols, truly inspiring provides information to support you during the studies and implementations. Okay. Um, I don't know what, is this something that we just put all these herbs together and make an oil or do we make our own? I can make my own oil. I have a bunch of them that I make myself. What do you guys think? Oh, okay, here it is. We have included a variety of unique ingredients um, that you may incorporate into your creations. Wild cherry bark, marshmallow root, dead sea salt. It's important that you take the time to document your intentions, creations, and manifestations along with your journey so that your work is not forgotten. Okay, so you can use it together. I guess it's, you know, it's a suggestion or an option. What are the other ones? We had the Dead Sea Salt. It's very well known for its healing properties found in the Middle East. Um, Israel, it's in Israel, include Dead Sea Salt into your rituals for healing, cleansing, and banishing, allowing the natural elements to break down any negative or unwanted energies. I've heard of people going um, to Israel, going to the Dead Sea to, if they have skin conditions like psoriasis or joint pain, and because of all the minerals in it, um, and the mud too, actually helps them to what degree, I don't know. But I think it would be fun just to float. Okay, wild cherry bark. Um, known to be used in many attraction and love rituals, cherry bark carries with it strong essence, the needed passion for those that work with its natural form. We specifically included this bark within this collection to bring about good luck during your rituals and spell casting. Allow its energies to boost its palpabilities. Okay. Well, here you go. What do you guys think? I like it. I really like this vessel. I think it's really cool. And it's something new. It's not something we've had before, which is, you know, it's always nice to get new things. And it fits here. I think you can put the stopper in here. I think they wrapped it separately so it wouldn't break. But just beautiful. Look at that. And I'll go over the other things that we get. We get the periodic table here, alchemical sim symbols. The um, honeymoon, June Espot, and full moon artwork. We get the honeymoon incense sticks. Oh, I forgot to describe the sigil. Transmutation Sigil. It was created specifically for this collection with the intention of enhancing the energies of transformation into your workings and practices. Place beneath your vessel as the contents condense, mix, and become one. Sigil can be recreated within your book of shadows, carved upon magicals, tools, or painted on talismans of transformation and success. Ego sum creator et alchemist. Latin. Okay. Get the litha salts here. You get the dead sea salt, the wild cherry bark, the marshmallow root. Take these off. The candle, beeswax candle, and 
the oil. So what do you guys think? What do you think about this month's box? Oh, and your personal oracle card. This is mine, the Sacred Fool. So, oh, and the quartz. What is wrong with me? I think I have vacation on the brain. I am not looking for it. Well, yeah, I mean, we work, right? But I like vacation more than I like to work. <laughs> I don't think I'm unique when it comes to that. I don't know what this point is for. Um, you guys tell me what yours looks like. Did you get like this extra point sticking out or is this just an aberration that I got? Either way, it's kind of cool. So this is it for the Witch's Moon for May 2021. Hope you're all doing well. Please like and subscribe and comment below. And I will be home soon and I will do the other two unboxings, um, Sugar Muses and Midnight Muses. So until then, goodbye and stay happy and healthy. Bye.